All right. Always fun to start the vlog off for the new week by having to close off last week because you forgot. Yeah. Oops. Anyway, we have, I don't know. Oh, uh, there, there you can see that. So we had to empty out, I don't know, what do you think, do you half the kitchen? Uh, yeah, About a bunch half, of cabinets. Yeah, a bunch of cabinets, including the big pantry closet, that one right behind me. Um, we're having some repair work um, done on some of the kitchen cabinets, uh, and um, that's coming up this week. So we spent some time emptying them and boxing things up. And while we're doing it, taking them out, taking stuff out and also putting back, we're doing a little bit of purging. Uh, getting rid of things we don't need. They get shoved to the back of the closet and then you don't know that you have them. Like the bowl of ramen that I had that was expired in 2019 that I found today. Yeah, that was a thing. Anyway, pigments are drying upstairs and I need to do some sketching today, but we're going to go try in a little bit and see if we can get the broken dining room chair re uh, re repaired. So anyway, otherwise it should be a pretty quiet Sunday. I'll be back. Stopped at an estate sale really quick on the way back to the house after dropping the chair off with a local woman who does woodworking. And um, she does it as a hobby and she's gonna take a look at the chair and see if she can help us fix it. Um, but on the way back home, we saw an estate sale and I got a set of metal measuring spoons and look at these two. Who remembers these little metal aspirin boxes? <laughs> One of them actually still has aspirin in it. I wouldn't recommend taking them. But anyway, I think they would make cute little mini watercolor palettes. So anyway, I'm gonna put them down and we're going to go for a walk, I think, really quick, and then come home and try to get some more stuff done. So no I'll be back. to stay home and be a lazy couch potato, but we're going to go for a walk. And those little aspirin tins, uh, Anison brand, they're worth about 10 bucks each. That's not what I paid for them. Wow. All right. <sighs> yes, I brought my bags with me in case I find more stuff to make paint out of. We'll see what happens. I'll be back. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to Monday. It is Monday, uh, October 31st, Halloween. It is 11.03 a.m. Typical Monday, I've got a lot to do. Um, we rearranged the drying pigments so that they are out of my way and over there. Anyway, so first things first, let's edit the vlog. We also have to do our weekly posts, write them all and get them scheduled. So let's take care of that first. Well, after I did a couple chores that I've already done. All right, let's do one thing at a time. I'll okay. be back. I have one more chore to do, but I got prompt, where are they? Back there. I got prompt lists printed for next year. We're gonna continue with daily drawing. Um, I was tempted to go the easy route and order some Moleskine Cahiers journals. I do enjoy working in them. However, I have I might choose to use what I have and or make some journals. So there's that. And if I do decide to get some moleskins, I can get them at Target or the office supply store or order them later. So I might try to just, I, I use what I have. I am gonna continue making little collages on the page, doing a drawing, that kind of thing. And I'm gonna just probably do one instead of two. Um, what else? Um, I ordered some date stickers for next year, and I took these at the estate sale Bob and I went to yesterday. I got two of these. I think I put a clip about them already. This one actually still has the anison in it. Um, anybody who's of an age remembers. And most of your aspirin or pain reliever companies have these, including Bayer Aspirin and obviously anison. Um, and they're little containers, and you... I don't think I can do it one hand. So you put your hands like on the red dots, your thumbs, and you push and they pop open. And they're in it. So I took one of these today. I haven't obviously dumped the aspirin out of this one yet, but I took one of them today. I have these mini um, watercolor pans. They're about the size of a half pan, but they're only half as deep. And I 
used some plastic and E6000 to create a divider. So I divided the mini in half, which gave me eight colors. Look at that. How cute is that? And that would be great for traveling or my daily sketch walks. I have something else I use already, but I mean, if you want to carry a small notebook, watercolor pad, and a water brush, and like this in your handbag, I mean, it's so little. I mean, that totally fits in your bag really well. Anyway, so I did that. Anyway, uh, I think we're going to go down now because I have to stop stalling. I've got a vacuum. <laughs> and I don't know if you can see. You can kind of right there. There's a like thin spot in my hair from where I hurt myself. So I'm trying to keep it covered. <laughs> and I did divide some, divide some extra of these mini pans because I think I might want to be doing this again. I like the idea now I have a watercolor collection that's big enough that uh, when I want to, I can say I want to go on a sketch walk or I want to take a journal and some um, paints with me and I want to just like pick one. So this one is just neutrals. Um, I have this one. They all have slightly different colors in them. Um, I have this one. Ay, ay, ay. which actually has a lot of colors in it. This is one of those, originally one of those credit card cases. So I love that I can do that, that I have enough paints to do that with. I am currently making some of these tins out of tubes, mostly this one over here. I'm trying to use up some of the tubes of paint and get them dried up into a palette um, because I'm more likely to use it that way. But anyway... I, I just like making palettes. I also have these over here. These are from Hawaii. So this is from the Aloha Cookie Company. And I know it looks like a little lunchbox, right? It would be a cute little mini travel kit. But also we went to um, Kauai Estate. Is that Kauai? K-U-I-A. And we got some chocolates in this tin. That would be a cute palette too, right? So, I know. I have this thing for making palettes. You guys, if you've watched my channel for a while, you know this, it's nothing new. Anyway, all right, enough of that, enough stalling. I don't want a vacuum, but it's gotta be done someday. I'll be back. It is Tuesday, November 1st. Our contractor is gonna bring it, be bringing by some pieces and parts for the cabinet fix up in the kitchen. And I just looked out the upstairs window after doing a few things in the art room and realized we forgot to bring the garbage cans in yesterday. Oops, better go do it. My downstairs. <laughs> it looks like we just moved in. We're just getting ready for some kitchen construction issues, but yeah, hold on. I can't even show you the part that's under there because you can't see it, but yeah. Uh, it's pretty crowded with boxes down there. Construction starts tomorrow and it'll take a couple of days. Again, we're not ripping out the kitchen, but they are fixing up some of the cabinets and we've emptied the ones they're going to work on. Um, so yeah, I'll be up here in the art room making myself scarce downstairs and staying out of their way while they get it done and then putting things back as I can. So. Anyway, I'm going to drink my bone broth. No, it's not beer. <laughs> it's bone broth. See, I swear. Uh, I'm going to drink this. I'm going to watch some YouTube. And then see what else I can get up to. The pigments aren't ready to scrape. I do have one that I put the alum and baking soda in and forgot to film it. Um, that's got to sit now for 24 hours. Um... And I prepped a journal that I'm going to use the um, paint markers I got sent by RDQ. Um, I don't know if that's how I pronounce it, but anyway. Um, so that's all done. And I printed and cut out my um, drawing prompts for next year for daily drawing. But anyway, I 
trying to keep myself busy because, you know, otherwise I eat. It's bad. All right, I'll be back. to get supplies. I've done two watercolor drawings, but I think, I think it's, I think, I think, 
I do think it's time for me to go get some lunch. It's a little bit early, but it's a good opportunity because he's not downstairs. So let me go run and do Morning, that. everyone. It is 9.20 a.m. on Thursday, November 3rd. Um, I'm going to be making some paints this morning. I'm waiting on the contractor to get here. I'm gonna go actually downstairs and make my bone broth a little early so that I'm not in his way. Um, he's gonna continue work on the kitchen. And uh, yeah, pretty much that's what my day is gonna be. Hanging out around the house while he works on the kitchen. Keeping myself busy upstairs, not that I don't have stuff to do up there, because I do. Um, I may show you all what I did to the small bits bank wall. I rearranged some things. I am still doing my research and or experiments with making pigments, figuring out what colors um, I can get out of what materials. looking outside it looks like it's gonna rain again um and yeah having fun with that whole process and i do need to film something so guys, i'm out walking before it starts raining any harder before anybody says anything yes our friend and contractor reuben is at the house working on the kitchen he's like family not worried about it anyway i am also picking some things to do some earth pigments from um, and or, uh, one of, well, one of them I'm going to do, uh, like the, some of the red roses. I mean, I got this really pretty mossy green. Didn't expect that. So I want to make some more, <sighs> found some more blackberries. So we're in it. Oops, not there. We're, <laughs> we're going to head home. I got to pay attention to what I'm doing so we don't get lost before it starts dumping, which suppo it's supposed to do. So, all right, I'll be back. Kind of winded, but I found everything I wanted to find. It's starting to rain a little harder. So we're gonna go home before it really starts dumping and I end up having to change my clothes. I'll be back. Guys, good morning. It is Friday, November 4th, 10, 14 a.m. I looked on the computer, don't get excited. Um, I have what is I think going to be for the moment the last batch of lake pigments working. Uh, these are doing their soaking laking thing um, and I have some of their drying. Um, we have what I think is a outside the front door we have what I think is a um, trailing dark purple verbena and it didn't have too many flowers on it but I did pull what was on there because I knew we were getting some storms that'd get knocked off anyway. And I got two big pans of pigment and the edge of the coffee filter that's underneath there has this dark bluish purplish tinge to it. And that's the color that we get. You can't really tell by the color of um, the pigment right now what it's gonna be. It changes as it's drying. It also changes as you make the paint with it. So I don't know, our blackberries are still drying, so. Don't know, don't know about that. And um, we've got some red roses because I got this really pretty mossy green out of the red roses and I'm hoping I get that again. And then I've got some more barks, including, uh, let's see, tree bark, oh, cedar. I've got a tag on here. That's not verbena, this is the verbena. Anyway, I do masking tape tags, so I know which is which. Anyway, I'm gonna go downstairs now and I think, uh, start putting the kitchen back together. Ick. All right, I'll be okay. back. Everything except the barware is put away. I'm gonna let Bob do that, because hello, I'm a klutz. Um, I found two boxes of expired food. Some of it's away expired. Um, was it this one? Nope. One of them expired before the pandemic. Maybe it was this one. Ooh. 
Where's one of them? Can't find it now. Oh, October 9th, 2018. <laughs> yeah, anyway, never got opened, never got used. Yeah, August 25th, 2019. They're gonna go away. away now. I'm probably lucky there was no bugs in the pantry. Anyway, I guess it's time to make five million trips to the garbage can because I also have that. I'll be Guys, back. It is 3.31 p.m. Saturday, November 5th. At least I think that's the date. I already think I already said this one. Anyway, I'm headed over to the local hardware store real quick to pick up some parts. The chairs, of course, are missing a couple of screws, and I'm not running all the way back to the warehouse. I'll just go to the hardware store. It's a day of chores, can you tell? Um, there's just lots of pieces and parts to do, and um, I'll try to get some artwork done later. I do want to sit and see if there's any pictures from life that I want to draw in my watercolor sketchbook. Um, I have a sketchbook I'm trying to finish and um, then I have a new one already prepped and ready to go. So uh, anyway, if you want to see videos on that or anything else, leave, some, leave something in the comments below what you'd like to see me do videos on and uh, we'll see if we can get that, get that done. All right. No, who, who's honking? So many people honking today. I miss COVID traffic. I either wasn't any. Anyway, all right, I'll be back. Hey guys, as Bob just pointed out, I'm 10, 10 minutes late closing the vlog on Saturday. It's 12, 10 a.m. Sunday morning. Yeah, we're headed to bed. It's been a long day, but it was good. We got a lot of stuff done. We had dinner with the kids and Polly is his parents. Uh, we went to Ancestry here in the Tigard, King City, Portland area. If you're in the area, try it out. They have some good food there. And uh, yeah, <sighs> it's been an eventful week. It's been a good one, but I can't wait to get on to the next thing. I've got pigments drawing. I've got stuff to do. Yeah. Anyway, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you want to support the free content here on YouTube, check out the video description for the Etsy store, Patreon, all that jazz. Some of it's in my link tree list of links. And um, comment, uh, tell me what you think, what you'd like to see in some videos. Uh, if you have questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. And don't forget the most important thing, stay safe, stay healthy, stay creative, go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. We'll see you next week. Bye guys. Thank you.